It's amazing how one person's life can affect so many others, even after that person passes away. Sister Jean Tiroff is one of those people. She said she was called by God to be a loving presence to the poor wherever they were. And that calling eventually brought Jean Tiroff to North Minneapolis. And as Angela Davis shows us, and this evening's life story, her sweetness gave birth to a program that has helped thousands of kids over the last three decades. Sister Jean grew up on a farm in Iowa, but felt right at home working with kids in North Minneapolis in the 1970s. Sometimes the kids who were knocking on her door at three in the afternoon when school let out were just looking for some place to get off the street. She wanted to keep them off the streets where there was a lot of danger at the time. She wanted to be here. John Morial is a longtime friend. She always just loved the little kids. And they loved her. She was baking cookies in her basement in a little oven. And the kids uh, wanted to help, so she got them working doing that. Sister Jean discovered baking cookies built trust and instilled confidence in kids. She started Mercy Missionaries in 1985 to expand her work. The cookies were a means to an end. She wanted to give them some work skills and some discipline, but mostly she wanted them to go out on the streets and sell the cookies and have some money for themselves. 30 years later, teenagers in North Minneapolis are still baking cookies, but in a much bigger kitchen. Sister Jean's work evolved into what is now the cookie cart on West Broadway. The students who work in the bakery get paid and receive training in money management. They learn how to write a resume and how to excel in a job interview. What Cookie Cart does is help young people who come from North Minneapolis to understand that the world is a, a bigger place with more options for them than they understood when they first came here. The first cart Sister Jean gave to kids to sell cookies in is parked here. When somebody has built community that radiates. Louise Hacke is Sister Jean's niece. Grandma did it, my mom did it, everybody made cookies. She remembers her aunt's work ethic. She just had this real strong sense that her life was only going to be so long and she was kind of done with teaching kids who had stable homes. She wanted to go to places where kids needed another adult to help them know they were valued. Sister Jean Tiroff was 85 years old. Next year, a second location of the cookie cart will open on the east side of St. Paul. They've already bought a building and are now raising money to remodel and equip it. If you want to offer suggestions for another life story for us to profile, you can do that at WCCO.com slash links. Scroll down to share someone's life story on the links page and then click on it. And we also have more information about the cookie cart there.